Are you going to stream it so you can see it to yes. the Discord? Cool. All right. Hello, everybody. Today, uh, Eric could not make it to um, the stream, and so he gave his assets and things to me and said, Hey, your turn, buddy. And so I'm taking over the streams now with me here. Uh, hey, we don't have as many it? people as so usual, it? but uh, to yes. the Discord. Cool. We got Kyle. Right, we got hello, Jake. everybody. We got, Today, uh, 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 Eric hello. could not make it to um, Give me a second. I the just stream. My, uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> I heard myself. And I got scared because I, yeah, <laughs> I didn't mute my my other stream. Okay. Uh, it's okay. so real, man. <laughs> so anyway, we're we're just gonna hop right into it. We'll start with the uh, last week's replays first. So we got two going. We got Jake versus Raziel, and then we got uh, Eric versus Connor. So let me go ahead and get that situated here. You're going to see a nice little transition screen. Ooh. Okay. So let me go ahead and stream it as well. Yes. All right. You guys see it? Yes. Okay. Rayquaza. I want to. That was a cool transition. Uh, for the record, uh, this was played on April Fool's Day. I'm sad it doesn't save the April Fool's Day sprites. I know. I play. love the April Fool's Day sprites. I was unaware yeah, there was such a thing. Be. By the way, all, yeah, all the all of uh, Raziel's Pokemon are female, at least the ones that can be changed as female. <laughs> I wonder if that was intentional to fit with the sprites, but I wonder what reason that would be does does ogre pond get attract um i don't think so i don't know because like, any of your maybe you just like some females that would be necessary would be like if ogre pond does get attract technically that's optimal because ogre pond is always female that's true yeah that's the same reason why people run female against uh enamorous yes cute charm yep just in case i wanted I literally built this team on the basis of, okay, I think I can handle this. Let me just not use my two best Pokemon. <laughs> Did you do that Let's on purpose? Let's try to build some differential on the rest. Oh, Even I see. That's not how you're supposed to win MVP points, but like <laughs> putting it on the lower Pokemon is funny anyways. That's true. Imagine Gouging Fire not being one of your best two Pokemon. That's crazy. <laughs> Top three, okay, I'd say. Is, a lot of like super good <laughs> Pokemon just kind of beat it because, like, if it's physical, <laughs> it's probably gonna have good, super effective moves with ground or rock. And if it's special, it it's not very specially bulky. It's got some, but like, it's not really. You have to like so invest heavily in it as good as I could for sure. But it seems a lot easier than it has been at least in my experience i'd say gouging fire is top four because i think uh this, your their third best pokemon on your team is bronzong but that's just me in terms of mvp yes in terms of actually <laughs> no <laughs> i mean okay we'll, we'll get started on here we're stalling here yeah so we got first turn play uh we got uh sticky web lead and then endeavor mm -hmm. I yeah, interesting. I can see it, like as if you as if you were going to attack it. But like, um, when you see that Galvantula, you know Sticky Web is coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually considered just attacking it that first turn because yeah. I was just like, "What the hell is this thing about to do?" But yeah, and then like again, how it goes. Yeah, I, again, like the Endeavor because he thought, "Oh, you're probably gonna hit me this time," but no, switching. No. <laughs> And then the no, focus, focus, punch. focus set. punch was sick. Yeah. Uh, discharge not gonna do a lot. Too bad it did ten. Anyways, yeah, really annoying bronze on set here. Oh Dual my god, this is the study day. This is the oh, one that you showed last lower time. Thunder accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was for this game that I showed you guys. I think. Yeah. Oh, was no, it? I thought it was a different week. No, I'm pretty sure it was this one because. Uh oh. I think it's the only time I've ran bronze on like that, but yeah. Uh, at this point, uh, the game I was GGs. won. Unless we have focus ashes. Yeah, that's the thing. But then, even then, what is uh, the Surreal Edge going to do? I mean, 
Couch and Fire are very physically de- uh, bulky, as we said, so he can't yeah. one-shot it. Actually, at this point, the game technically was not won yet. My Gouging Fire was slow enough that Neuvern, I think, could outspeed it still with yeah. 1.5. That's fair. <laughs> Or is like it just Hurricane that makes less damage from, or less accuracy from Yeah, sun? that's Hurricane. Yeah, let's go Clear Body. Ooh, I like this play, stalling out the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the screens. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah, now it's one. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bullet Punch oh. can't do much. Nope. And there we go. One. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. is big. We could see something here, but yeah, no. That Dragon Claw. Do ah ah ah. Oh no! Morning sun. Too. Oh, it's the the it's the oh, the lame set. Your Charizard. I want to point that out. Like that, that was. Oh wait, ter- I missed Terrorblast. it. Yeah, a oh, Terra Blast yeah. fire. That's <laughs> that's a move. Choice. Uh, then going into the cruel. And endure. Endure, endure yeah, well, counter? I had some differential around. I felt like I could do it. And karma. Let's go stay. <laughs> karma. <laughs> Thunder, oh, unfortunately, oh, missing. You know, works out. Sort of. <laughs> this... With this charge there, which was, I guess, fair if the Thunder missed first. Oh, my. Yeah. I guess it is a Pikachu. I shouldn't be surprised that it got kind of knocked out from there. Then I wanted to get uh, Ditto some differential. Oh, what's it going to do but, against these yeah, things, it's... though? Triple Axel? Just didn't work out. Yeah. Also, I realized, uh, if he U-turned it had no me, item. he would have killed me. Wait. So, uh, You're right. good thing. What was that, Jake? That Sorry. Happen. If he U-turned on me, he would have killed me, I think. Like, I don't think I would have killed him with knockout. Knock oh, off true. First. That, that, that is true, Kyle. He didn't have an item. You knew He used knockoff, and there was no... Item that came off, you don't see an item here. He just, this Charizard just didn't have an item. Wait a second. <laughs> what? I didn't notice that. Unless it's like a Mega Stone or something. No, he oh, can't. No, Mega, Mega Stones aren't in this game. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. Wow. Okay. But he has Terra Blast and Flame Thrower. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the Endure. Maybe uh, he meant to have it? another Terra thing. But no well, bullet punch, unless he's choiced. Oh. Unfortunately, that it can't endure forever. Yeah. Alakazam. Alakazam. And then, there we go. There it goes. Yeah. Sticky web. Yes. Also, who's Pierre Richard? Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> know who that was. On the, you can't on see the stream, it on the stream, but... but like, yeah, someone named Pierre Richard joined the game, like, Turn turns in or 12, something. yeah. I think halfway through the game. I didn't even notice them join, and I was just really confused when he <laughs> said GG at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he say GG? <laughs> he wasn't playing. He also said good luck, have fun when he joined. <laughs> like, yeah. 10 turns in, like, like you weren't already playing. <laughs> yeah, like, was, just... was it stuck in a different tab? Like, was he playing a game? But his like typing wasn't a different one. I don't know. No, he just he just joined one one turn and was just like, "All right, good luck, have fun." Yeah, <laughs> this was so a better funny. game for me to fix some of my differentials. I wasn't happy with gouging fire is now decent. Metacham's now decent. Tentacruel isn't completely sad anymore. Okay, we're okay. gonna go to the next one. So here we got the next t- next game in the lineup. We have uh, Eric versus uh, versus Connor, two of like the top dogs, I'd say. We got oh yeah, yeah Eric and Connor. Connor is just slightly lower in terms of uh, score, but he's at the highest differential in in the league so far. So we'll see if he can hold it up or not. Oh, oh, sound sound. Why is sound on? I have it. I have music off. Well, we'll just get to hear the Pokemon noises. Oh, you didn't hit we'll, play sound off. We'll do that. There you go. There we go. 
We'll do Never that. knew what Landris sounded like. <laughs> kind of sounded pretty badass, not going to lie. Oh, but we get a U-turn, oh, turn one. Double intimidate? Yeah, that's like... That's scary. Eric's, oh, Eric's mean with those intimidates. He's... I want to point <laughs> out, uh, Connor left in his steel type against Landris. He probably thought he could live a uh, an earthquake or something, you know? He does mm. have the bulk. He might have had the ground resist fairy or something like mm -hmm. that. But like that is interesting to know. Ballsy. Maybe he was expecting a, a stealth rock. That's mm -hmm. or he's like there's no back. there's no way he'll stay in on me, right? Yeah. Like that's the one thing you can do to like catch him off guard. But then the turn one U turn is pretty good. And then as we see the double intimidate, that's that just like invalidates some uh, like like all physical attackers, and then here Incineroar can parting shot back into Incineroar, and then get still get that minus two attack on this thing. True, but you don't want to get hit by. True, great the, tusk the great tusk Incineroar. could be faster, as we see. Ooh. Headlong rush, mm -hmm. doing resisted damage. So far, uh, Eric has <clears throat> some pretty good momentum. Switching out oh, back again, back but he's not really doing anything with it is the thing. I'd say um, he got yeah. rid of leftovers, and that's about it so far. Yeah, I like how Eric says that he doesn't like sweeps because it's like not skill, and he likes to win by skill. Is this skill? The <laughs> sense intimate switching. <laughs> the uh, I'd say this like your skill, baby. I'd say like he did get some pretty nice reads. I mean. He um he doubled he doubled his uh, sinister like his sinister didn't do anything but he doubled back into Incineroar to be able to get the um I, I don't, I'm not sure what was coming up maybe he was thinking a Weavile and so that's why he went Incineroar um yeah now Therian just hated Draco Meteor yeah Therian just did take one taking seventy percent uh, but that Gudra does have to swap. And the Intimidate Wars. Yeah, the in here we are, Intimidate Wars, baby. Again. Switching so a water weakness into a water weakness. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's just for the Intimidate. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, Waterfall. If it wasn't for that. Ooh, oh. and then we have a big miss right here. Unfortunate doesn't even begin. I think... Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe he can bring it back with Sinistra with uh, Macha Gacha, but I think that 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 really does hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now, luckily yeah. for Eric, this Gardos is not running Moxie. Yeah. Terra oh, flying. but Terra flying. Yeah, never mind. Ooh, oh, yeah. I think that's I think that's it. Switches out. Okay. Yeah, switches out. And oh, now the Willow will Willow hit. Wisp does it hit? <laughs> it does hit. Yay! <laughs> And wow, burn and, and, and that. All but the defog. Oh, so maybe this isn't even like a an offensive scyther. It's probably more like a mixed utility. Because I mean, he didn't take um the boots damage yeah, or definitely rock boots. damage to so boots. Makes sense. Makes sense. You turn having pitiful damage. Oh, uh, but only one turn. intimidator left on Eric's team, at least. Is this um wheezing? Do we do we see any? Uh... Uh, it has to be levitate because neutralizing gas and misty terrain both reveal themselves. I thought it it shows levitate as well. Uh, well. Only when a ground move is targeted at it. Oh okay, yeah, I guess it's true. Neutralizing gas, I know, does that. Good read. Yeah. And that's not going to do much. Oh, and he's oh, going to yeah. lose that. Here comes the sweep. Or maybe Ooh. not. See, did he read the dark switching? Did he use a fairy move here? Does he? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he, he does. does. Very Probably nice play. Too. Oh. For those curious, for those curious, Eric's name for this enemy is the Executioner in Finnish. It's an enemy from a different game. So, <laughs> the uh, Executioner, like Clash Royale Executioner. Uh, okay. Yeah, but he, <laughs> it would seem he's planning is this is his this is his late throw. <laughs> that is a try and sweep. I do think it is really interesting that um, he's 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 scarf like we know this indeed is scarf that he brought it another time catching 
uh, Connor off guard because Connor thought like, oh, I'm a Weebot. I should be faster than this thing. Uh, but then getting oh, dazzling yeah. off again before the Weavile. Unfortunately, his name is kind of ironic. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, this doesn't look too bad for Eric, considering how Lutra can just clean up pretty well, but in Intimidate Gyarados kinda will stop that yeah. if he ever tries to get that going. In order so for to get this like out a of the good way. asset for Connor to have here. I will say in DD as well could could sweep. The only thing that's stopping it is just the Gudro because it is such a specially defensive wall mm -hmm. and steel type that expanding force sweep will be hard. It'll be hard to like facilitate sweeps guess, on too. both of these Pokemon. And we see here, do we get uh, another Maybe burn? Yellow? Oh, he just goes for string. Oh, string steam. steam. I don't know if that Maybe was the play. To switch in. I don't know if that was the play there. Okay, late game Hill Focus. Mary. Sash? Yeah. Nope. Okay. What and was yeah. the idea there? Oh, he forgot to Terra. Oh, that's the idea there. Mm. I think if he Terra flying or Terra ice, probably Terra flying. Could be Terra Rock, considering... What? Actually, no. He has, <laughs> he's stuck in to flying or ice on Halucha. No yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Terra Rock? <laughs> yeah, but here's this extreme steam, and then there's some Stagudra. Expanding force, only doing... Eh, it's still pretty, yeah, pretty not good damage, doing enough. Not enough to break it, unfortunately. And that does it. If he got two crits, though, that would have been crazy. If he did <laughs> got two crits, hey... <laughs> hats off i guess uh let's see okay so we got through our, our two games sorry about that we got through our two games uh do we want to see if our other two contestants are ready to to battle yeah, let's try to get the live games done if we can sure yeah. raziel's ready whenever he's i don't think he's going to be joining stream though okay that's joining, fine joining, joining, we, joining can, call. we can do that then um, yeah, we'll watch your the stream. Okay. Alright. So, let me go ahead uh, and show off the it. cool transition. Huh. There's three battles going on right now for almost any ability. Wow. I accidentally clicked on that. <laughs> Draft. Okay. I've been messing around with metronome battles recently. I actually got into the top 500 ladder for like two battles and then I lost again. You know who I, I hear is really good for no metronome battles? At least in Gen 8. I remember oh, watching a Wolfie video. Uh, I think Golurk. Oh yeah, all the... No guard immunities. plus having immunities. You can choose any ability. Oh really? For metronome battles, yeah. Oh, maybe it's just the white. So one. I have the... I have the Pokestar Studio giant girl with Toxic Chain as one of them. Oh my god. And Mega Venusaur with Competitive for the other. And I always Terra Ghost to one of them. I see, it's just, uh, it's just very good. Know. Yeah, Unless I sent them a message. If you guys want to battle first really quick, probably could. Okay, um, I'll try to hit up uh, Connor. See if he can respond as well. I have another transition screen. I have two. Oh, really? I have the cool one. And I have the slightly funnier one. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Like I said, I was having fun here. It still okay. hasn't showed Rosie up for me yet. Okay. All right. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna accept his battle. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna mute until I know you guys are uh, ready to watch. All right, I'm in the battle. I am in the battle as well. I will deafen then. Uh, just give us a countdown in chat. Okay, give me a sec. You can go ahead. Codename Hydro. 
Yep, that's uh, that's my fish. That's my shrimp monger. <laughs> okay, I think he's deafened. Oh. Yes. Give me a Should we give him the go? I did yet? not give him the go yet, but <laughs> for some reason, it's is not it up? Is it on screen? There we go. For some reason, it wasn't there. There we go. Okay. Inside. Should we give him the countdown? Three, two, one, go. Are you sure it doesn't say please wait still? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry, because I'm behind. Sword Stance, Ursaluna, Blood Moon? What? Yo, that's crazy! He's actually going physical! What are these stats? But it's, <laughs> it's Blood Moon! Are you sure he's going physical? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, man. It's possible he doesn't have a physical move. Okay, get train. Oh, he's, is he alternating? High horsepower! Oh, oh no. but he, it's levitate ability. They're playing really fast. Dang. Literally, right. I've just been typing in the names of the Pokemon into the spreadsheet, and I'm looking over and seeing 41% on the Ursa Luna. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ursa Luna did not die in one hit this time. That is good. Yeah. Uh, I like to protect, because he can go Blood Moon Protect, Blood Moon Protect. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not. if it was Calm Mind, yeah. that would have been, been crazy, but it's Swords Dance. I don't think Ursa Luna gets... Um, nasty, nasty plot. plot. I don't think so either. Oh, the hard switch out. I like nice, it. Nice, nice. Now you can throw to knock off here. Yep, knock off will do anything. But it, will he go for knock off, or will he go for some other crazy move? We never know what happened. What Raziel will do. <laughs> he brings the craziest sets. Triple Axel into Enamorous would be crazy. So I feel like knock off is a great option. Like, you could remove leftovers from Ting Lu, mm -hmm. and then you turn out if it's not choice. Knock there off. There is a knockoff. Knockoff. Wow, that is bulky. Ooh, draining kiss, though. And I think he's out of range of knockoff here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. well out of range, because it's not knocking anything off anymore, either. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I would U turn here into probably Matang. Yeah. Matang? I mean, that. That's where you go defensively, but then when it comes back to getting rid of the Yuxi, what can the Tang do? This is also a good pick. Yep, I was going to say. Oh, Ting Lu. Ooh. And we'll see if he's packing close combat here. Otherwise, Earthquake will do a hefty amount. Earthquake, I think, kills. Definitely. I no heavy duty boots either. Close combat, I mean. So each time it switches out, it does have that. Um, 24% removed, so the mm -hmm. HP EVs were done correctly. I still don't even know how to do that. You just gotta make it an odd number. Well, there we go, it seems simple enough. <gasps> Destiny, Destiny Bond. Bond again! Oh! Okay. Oh no. Is, uh, Isaiah does not tend to run attacking moves on his Ting Lu. True. Oh, is he gonna spikes and then whirlwind? That's, That's what I think he's gonna do. Oh my that. goodness. If Isaiah isn't running boots, three things get destroyed by Stealth Rock. I mean, no, sorry, not Isaiah. If Raziel isn't running boots. Yeah. yeah. And the things that don't get destroyed by Stealth Rocks are going to be weak to spikes still. So, yeah. I, I, let's hope Raziel is packing Defog on Noivern. I don't... Have we seen him run Defog no. before? I don't know. We've seen it run Dual Wing Beat. That starts with a D. <laughs> <laughs> it's Close enough. a flying move, so it's basically the same thing. We've seen it run Brick Break before. We have seen it run. Brick oh, break. switching out to Matang. Another spikes into. Mm. Oh, oh, right yeah. back into Surledge. I think you have to fire off close combat if you got it. Yeah. Just whatever move. Honestly. Or like maybe a bigger yeah. blade. Assuming the whirlwind is coming in. Destiny Bond again. Oh. Back into Metang. So this is what he wanted. We'll see if he can do something about it. 
I mean, what can it do yeah. to this Pringles? Yeah, methane is not breaking through this. Yeah. I don't even know if Metagross could break through this. Even if it was a banded explosion, it's not killing this thing, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, setting up okay. a reflect, though. Nice. Could have light clay. Back in the cereal. Oh, I no. think it just dies uh, from spikes. Uh, oh, just barely. Oh, but the thing is dead. Oh, dead man. So, Cerulege is dead, Ursulunit, or no, uh, so The only is, way that Cerulege was living no. is if he decided to use another spike there. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh, oh but the Reflect coming in. Like, what item could this thing have? The Ursaluna? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't have an item. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> Could be like a ah, uh, you can't. Oh, here comes a whirlwind that goes through. Yeah, that goes yep. through protect. Oh, so that's a dead Ursaluna then too. Zard King switching we... three times though. Technically, two more. Is times. this? Is he gonna try to get all of his Pokemon dead in one turn? Oh my God, that could happen. One and they all switch in. They just all die one after the other. That would be a crazy six zero. That would be a six zero for Ting Lu then. <laughs> oh, whoever I mean, he wants to. He's guaranteed to either Rowan or Spikes here. I think he Rowans. Okay. So why wouldn't you? What's this Charger gonna do? For oh MVP, no. Do we want to say that the kills on Cerulege and Ursaluna are to the Tanglu because it whirlwinded them out? Uh, it's whoever he was looking at. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, like, uh, Death Charger's dead now because it got rid of its flying okay, weakness. This one. Charizard's is, dead. Uh, oh, wait, you're right. Damage. And there's two. Sir Wow, oh, you no. really made that easy for me to figure out. And there's three. There's the Metang. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this is so low, too. Oh, the Miascarada. This I think it's the only thing. Maybe Flower Trick? Flower Trick, yeah. I think you Whirlwind again. Because Miascarada's dead when it comes back in. You Whirlwind or you Switch. Or you could just body press, too, True. and that's gonna get the kill. Yeah, but Whirlwind's more fun. It is more fun, I will agree. Oh. Whirlwind. Oh. There's one. Charizard could've Whirlwind is gonna it, come in. Because it could have uh, gotten someone it, he's dead. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Never mind, because it doesn't take double stealth rock. You're right. <clears throat> Kyle, you got me tricked. Oh, burn! Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> No burn. At least this Pikachu is gonna get a kill, right? <laughs> this Pikachu, right? Yeah, right? It should. Please? I mean, Isaiah should switch for Differential. Honestly, I would switch into Corviknight because there's nothing this can do to it. True. Or Goldengo. Well, the the it does get Flamethrower. But you're not oh, yeah, true. you might think Whirlwind is just really funny here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a defog here. If we get a defog here, I'm... that would be the funniest reveal of all time. <laughs> I would not know what to say. I'd be at a loss for words. Oh, okay, he does Arcanine. switch for a differential. Break, break, break! break, break. Do we see it again? Yo, Arceus Rock, there he is. Arceus Rock. Ninety-five points. Dragon Claw. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Hey, the Noivern might end up getting a kill still. Critical hit. Boom, Boom burst. burst! Just showing his moveset, and there we go. Yeah, ah, there, there, now there's it. game. And Arcanine picks up another kill. Okay. Because it looked at him. Like that's a Ting Lu kill, though, right? Like. Nope, he looked at him. That's It's whatever's on the field, right? Ting Lu explosions. Ting Lu may have dealt the blow, but Arcanine was there when he finally bled out. Peru. Or actually, man, did he he did he switch out of the Charizard, or did he get Whirlwind out of the Charizard on the last one? He just switched in because his uh Noivern died. Okay, uh, I'll give that to Arcanine. Let's go, Arcanine. Arcanine Let's get go, some Arcanine. kills on the board. Let's go, Ting Lu. Ben is seething right now, if he still hates him. I can't remember which season that was that he hated Ting Lu. 
That was uh, season one. Season one? one? Yeah, because that was William's Tinglu when he had all of the ruins. And by all of them, I mean he had two. How many did he have? Two of them? He had Ro Ro Chien and Tinglu. Uh, battle, battle replays and uh, battle replays. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I posted on the spreadsheet as well. All right, let me get to the next transition. 6 0. Well played, Isaiah. Any Thank thoughts you. on that battle that you'd like to throw there? Uh, really, just as soon as I got the hazards out and he didn't kill Ting Lu, I, it's just whirlwind over and over again. It, it, if he, I don't know if he couldn't do anything about it if he didn't have anything against Ting Lu that he could actually like kill Ting Lu with. But my plan, like Ting Lu, was not the the main plan. Like, he just didn't kill it, so I just kept hitting Whirlwind, and it just happens to work, I guess. I don't know. It just yeah. worked. Yeah, because, I, I, I mean, I was planning to finish with, like, Arcanine anyway, um, and then he just didn't really ever take out Ting Lu, so I had no reason to ever switch into Arcanine. Yeah, okay. and that is a valid strategy sometimes, uh, having a Pokemon designed to set up with spikes, and then if its offense isn't up there, just whirlwind until you die and force the bad matchups, get that chip damage. Yeah, it's although well I, I was uh, impressed with his Meowskarata, though. I should mention that. Uh, I think, wait, was that the last one or was it Noivern that was the last one? Uh, I think the Noivern uh, was the last one against your Arcanine, besides yeah. the Charizard that switched in. Yeah, the Noivern... Um, uh, he did something to increase the speed. I don't know what it was. Um, because if he was, it was faster than a Noivern with full investment in speed and, uh, plus nature. So, uh, because otherwise yeah. Arcanine would have been faster. Alright guys, um, the, uh, stream is up. I will mute myself. Do you have it, um, oh, on next the battle? actual stream yep. yet? The actual stream as well. And so I will mute myself on Discord. I think yep, I'm gonna I mute myself on the stream as well. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, right, do you mute, but now. you don't okay. deafen. Yes. Okay, I will go. I will do that, and um, I'll be back. All right. The uh, mute. And okay, he is muted. Uh, should we give him a countdown? Go for it. Three, two, one. Go. Also, let's go Thwacky. Is this the first time yeah, we've seen Thwacky? Yeah. I we've seen it before, for okay. sure. I don't know. We if have it a potential huge, double sticky yeah. web lead. That we do. Ooh. I would just make Ooh. sure that the fires are good. But yeah, no, neither. Sticky webs leads. <laughs> Both of them are also capable of quiver dancing. Oh god. That's gross. <laughs> that move ruled season one. That and dragon dance. Yeah, because uh, someone it, had Volcarona. I know. So it could Terra back then. It was that was something That's else. <laughs> who organized the rules for that, honestly? Yeah, I wonder who it was. <laughs> Uh, you think this Weavile's choice? Choice Scarf? It's faster. Looking at the speed stats, it has to be Scarfed in order to be faster. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't The Terra faster. Fairy! That did nothing. What was that for? For the Weavile. The Weavile? Yeah, I assuming so. that he stayed in and clicked an ice move, he's like, no, I'm faster and I actually can hit you now. Yeah. It, yeah, it goes, goes up against Great Tusk too. So true. Um, mm -hmm. Two, you know, pretty big hitters on this team. Yeah, I think Rillaboom can get Stealth Rock. Oh, knockoff, static, and he had boots. Everything's he happened. did not want to get sticky webbed. Holy macaroni! To make sure you catch that was crazy. Speed, that's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does uh did Rillaboom? I think Rillaboom gets Stealth Rock. 
So maybe Thwack can get two. I'm not sure. That if it does, maybe it maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Okay, gets the vault. Uh, do you think you go hard masquerade here? Start quiver dancing. Potentially, you could also or go and try to start setting up with it. Considering True. Draki doesn't seem like a threat. Yeah. And Metagross seems like a good option. Enamorous, mm -hmm. even Masquerain. What other abilities Masquerain get? Unnerved, so that's not going to be used. Alright, we do see the Enamorous, and it's paralyzed anyway. So oh, like and this is going to counter... This, is, this counters Intimidate as well. Intimidate yeah. just is a plus one. Yeah, I see no reason for him to click anything other than superpower right now. Yeah. Is that his only, like, contrary? Oh. I guess it's not that set. <laughs> that was strong for resisted knockoff from a Thwacky. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, that is... Superpower. Kinda... Is that the only one that... The only move that is... Impacted by contrary for uh, Enamorous? Uh, no Leaf Storm. Yeah, I don't think it gets any special drops. Okay. Yeah, no Overheat. No Draco Meteor, obviously. Yeah, I don't think so. Imagine if it could get Fleur Cannon. <laughs> oh my god. That would be insane. But yeah. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe there's no reason not to superpower. Set. He just thought, oh, fire move for, yeah, no. It was probably Rabombi. He was expecting Rabombi to switch into it. Mm -hmm. Iron Head or Flash Cannon incoming, most likely. Yes. So Metagross is probably the obvious switch in to resist it. Could hit back with Earthquake. Or but Samurai like, Hisui. Like flamethrower or something like that, right? Mm, yeah, Guja has crazy Since it is a special attacker, technically slightly. Man, Guja's stats are insane when you look at it. Pseudo legendary. Yeah. Messed up. Yeah. 80 is, HP, it, what, 100, 100, 110. Yeah, UU for Hisui. Oh, okay. Oh, that was probably the best switch in on Thunderbolt, maybe besides Dragapult. Right, because the Electrode doesn't quad resist it anymore. Yeah, and that would hit Masquerade and Samurai Heavy. Oh, good clear body. Oh, and we see the leftovers again on Gyarados. I don't think I've ever seen Leftovers Gyarados until this specific Gyarados, and he's had it like every time. I feel like maybe... Actually, no. Leftovers isn't really that big in VGC, is it? I was going to say maybe then, because you see more defensive Gyarados sometimes, but yeah, no. Yeah. Maybe as like an Intimidate Switcher. Mm -hmm. Though, but I'm not sure. This team, where you've got the potential for contrary sweeping, Enamorous, yeah. plus... Clear body Metagross, not going to be getting as much mileage out of Intimidate Pokemon. Oh! I think. Yes, okay, I yeah, think. I guess you can. No weakness policy. Oh, yeah. What item could it be running? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Probably clear amulet for the disrespect. <laughs> Let's hope. So this is probably a well, it is a dead metagross if he switches in. Or stays in. We could but... see a bullet punch just to oh, chip true. it. I don't think it's gonna kill. Metagross is strong, but I don't know if a priority move is gonna do it. Yeah. Maybe he had, maybe he did like crazy calcs and has like the the steel boosting item for this specific interaction. That is possible. Metal coat is it? Or the Arceus plate? Same thing. 
Oh, electrode. Triple axle. Oh, that does a lot. That's big. Yeah, because even if it was choice weavile, now it's not going to be faster anyways. Yeah, and obviously the electrode was most likely going to be outspeeding anyway, but now everything else on Michael's team is going to have a good chance of going first. Mm -hmm. And that quarter chance of losing a turn is a big deal. Yeah. The ice shard goes through. It was faster. Wow. Honestly, getting that paralysis might have been just bad for Michael because it <laughs> made him put his guard down against this Weavile. Granted, now uh, Connor's in a bit of a rough spot here. Yeah, okay. That's what you had to switch into. Double resist. Now, does Aqua Cutter... Aqua Cutter probably kills this thing. But does or Razor Shell kill the Samurott first? That's the question. Samurott got yeah, nothing there, no nothing special defense on Samurott, so unless he invested for this purpose... Or Maybe has assault the vest. Resist berry for some reason. Assault, assault vest, vest might be able to. Do yeah, that. I know. I ran it last season when I had this guy. And I feel like Michael has talked about running assault vest on his samurai. Yeah, I wonder if Metagross can live a hit and then strike back with bullet punch. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. It can. Now here, He's probably doing that kelp. Yeah. As you were, as what? You were walking. No, no bullet punch. punch. He probably was reading a switch in. Maybe a switch in to yeah. Great Tusk. Now it's four all. I like that play if he was trying to click Psychic Psychic Fangs. Is it? Yeah, Psychic Fangs yeah. on a Great Tusk switch in. And I, I like that. I kind of like that going for the read because Great Tusk. I don't think it's been in the game yet, and to get a ton of damage on it for free is a big opportunity. Right. Plus, Connor, mystical fire we know here is like a good player. We have seen him make some oh, big oh. switches like that before, and yet unfortunate getting the attack drop on that because that's just a boost for an amorous. Yeah, it's a. Moonblast is a 30% chance to drop? Interesting. That is insane. Granted, dropping an attacking stat instead of a defense stat feels like it's usually going to be less impactful. Because yeah. half of the time, it's not going to matter on the Pokemon you're attacking. True. But still, okay, Ice Spinner. Maybe the Mystical Fire would have killed anyway. Now it's 3-all. I'd say Connor has a slight edge when it comes to tight matchups. But you have to look at that Revile being paralyzed, too. Yeah. Yeah, this is Michael a really has... back-and-forth game. Yeah. Sacred Sword can deal with the Gudra and the Weavile, obviously. It's just going to be this great tusk. Do you send in Dragapult here? Um... I, Dragapult can get Psychic Fangs. It could also be possibly running Willow. Maybe Intimidate with the Masquerade, force a switch. Plus, actually, no, we saw the Ice Spinner. It does hit the Masquerade still. Also, no Sticky Web from the Rebombi when it was in. All right, here we go. Mars. Sleep Powder, maybe? Can that get sleep powder? Probably. Or does it Probably. get the... Maybe it just gets the stun spore. Which I don't know if that can impact ground types. It gets stun spore. It does not get sleep powder. Okay. Oh, quiver dance. Ice shard is still going to be doing a lot. This Does is Ice Shard one shot this thing? Situation. Probably not. Bug Buzz is probably going to one hit kill this thing. 
Right. And the fact that actually this could be running a focus sash. Oh, <gasps> hurricane doesn't kill, but it's really paralyzed. Yeah. They're... I wonder bug buzz had to be doing more, right? Might just not have it, which would be a little weird, but ice beam for the switch in. Oh, ice beam. Yeah. Sticky oh. web's probably his last move. Yeah. Also, Ice Beam just for the safety, yeah. as long as he was confident there. Yeah, I like that. Guaranteed to hit. Probably did the Calyx that it would kill, even resisted, not stab. And I think you have to switch in Gudra here. Mm hmm. Now, I think you do. I think you go Ice Beam. Because it's going to be neutral, going to have that freeze chance. Well, you might want to save this to get to intimidate the mm, Great Tusk true. as well. It just depends on what is this Gudra going to click right now. Yeah. Do you want to fire off an Ice Beam with a special attack boost, or do you want to save it for a one-time Intimidate loot use? Because I don't but think also, this Masquerade is going to do too much for the rest of the game. You can't be comfortable switching into either of your other Pokemon as Michael, because we've already seen the Thunderbolts. And, yeah. I mean, it's Gudra. It's probably running a Draco as well for the Dragapults. Or do you click Sticky Web here so Great Tusk is slower than Samurai? That is an option. Okay, we see Ice Beam. No kill. See, I have a feeling the Dragapult is going to be able to handle <clears throat> the Great Tusk, probably. I'm sure he's possible made it to win that 1v1 if he needs. But can it? Especially it's very with frail the fact Pokemon. That we have not seen it at all this game. I feel like that might be alluding to it just being 100% class cannon for the right Pokemon. Ooh. Gooey! Okay, it's guaranteed to be outsped by this thing now. Now, you, if you're Michael, you could try to switch in Dragapult on a fighting move, but that is so risky at this point. Yeah, if he clicks if it sets up just to cover that, because it's yeah. his only win con, even though it would technically lose him differential if he fails it, like, I don't see a reason to try optimizing differential. When yeah, you're especially when losing the game that hard. Yeah, I think. I mean, who knows? This Samurai could be choice. We've only seen it use Sacred Sword, Aqua Jet, and the Headlong Rush coming in for the switch. For so Aqua Jet going to be doing even more. It also this is could GG's. be a choice. Great Tusk could be. It could I think forced for him to not click a fighting move. True. But this could be GG's. Yeah, doing even more. Unless it's Choice Scarf. And it can one hit. We'll see if the Admiral can oh, take it home. Oh! oh! Dragon darts. Psychic things, that does it too. Wow! What a match. Yeah, that was sick. Incredible. Whew. Wow, what a match. My mic. Oh my god. Okay, did you have a mini heart attack when you saw the Great Tusk went first in that last turn? Yes! I had a mini heart attack. I was like, oh, uh oh. Like, did I, I count for Ice Spinner. Did I count for Stab uh, heart, long, Headlong Rush? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Choice Scarf, but I was like, uh-oh. Do I die here? Yeah. Do I die here? <laughs> the thing that... is... Oh, man. Uh, I knew it was Choice Scarf, so I was looking at Ice Spinner, and I'm like, okay. Um, if he, he but, uh, Ice Spinner shouldn't kill the Dragapult, but he couldn't lock himself in Ice Spinner because of Chrom, you know, being a water type. Right. Uh, but, man, if he got a crit there... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and you knew he was Scarfed? Uh, I, I figured out he was Scarf when, um, he went, he used Ice Spinner on, um, Anamorous. 
God, Plus, he brought sure. it out that so fast too. Sense. And then I'm like, oh yeah, there's no way that um, that I checked um, Showdown and I was like, okay, he doesn't get Ice Shards, so I should still just click Moon Blast here and be fine. Um, but then Ice Spinner went first, and then I was like, oh, okay, so he scarfed. Oh, Got it. okay, that's right. That's why I went Masquerade there because then um, I calc Ice Spinner is not going to kill it, and then I can maybe um, Quiver Dance up. He goes to Weavile. Um, I got the paralysis with uh, Hurricane. First of all, Hurricane landed. Thank God. Then he got paralyzed. <laughs> thank God. Um, yeah. So that was nice. Okay. Very glad that Masquerade oh, got to do something. But I was it? sweating. I'm like, this can go either way. Oh. I'm assuming because you clicked Hurricane, th no bug buzz on the Masquerade? No, right? I did not have bug buzz. I, I did not think um, to bring it. Honestly, I think I I should have tweaked some move sets around, but uh, I I don't know. I just um going into it, I felt like I I felt like pretty confident, but I think Connor just really like played really well. I don't know. I don't know what to say. He played super duper well. That was a fun game. I Battle wonder, the season candidate right there. That was a really fun match. Uh, did you guys save the replays, or should I do that? Uh, I think Connor put it Favorite into match. the Discord, and I have it in the spreadsheet. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Then we got our two live battles done. And so it's just me versus been... Ben from this week. Awesome. This is the the game and we've all been waiting for. Did you play on April Fools? Or was that, did you play like a day later? Uh, it was on April Fools. Awesome. And knowing Ben, I was worried like he would say like, Ah, oh, April Fools, that wasn't our real battle. That knowing wasn't our real the battle. battle. Okay, um, we're going to go here. There we go. Perfect. I didn't even have to change anything. So. All right, can you stream it here? Yes, I should do that. I totally forgot about that. Uh, da, nice. da, da, da. Just one last thing about Last Battle, because it was so exciting. Both Sticky Web users saw the field, and we saw no Sticky Web. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to... Uh, I don't know. I just thought that I have so many things that can uh, counter Sticky Web. I didn't think about even using sticky with myself Fair. yeah you know the clear body and then levitate mons and then a bunch of other pokemon that just like are already slow so they don't really care for sticky webs that much mm -hmm. all right so you guys should see it right mm -hmm. yes. streaming all right yeah, and it's up on stream too yes i've been talking about this battle for quite a long time Ever since the draft, too, I drafted Sneasler, and I said, I'm going to choose someone who I think was underutilized last season. And who had that Pokemon last season? That's right, Mr. Wallace Locomotive himself, Ben Donaldson. <laughs> I see someone on the stream, Iv. And I wanted to dedicate this fight for justice for Raziel. Getting full out of a real match against Ben. Yes, so this is your your fight for his for his honor. Fighting for Raziel's honor. And we all Ben is here like, hey, don't hit me. I'm just a guy. <laughs> I'm just yeah, a little cheer guy. For me. I'm a normal type. Yeah, cheer I'm for all me. normal type team. I'm, Look I'm at me. Hero. We don't see the Duraludon here, which is kinda crazy. I know. I wonder if he, just, here. if he was just ask something here. I guess he got a lot uh, of fighting what, types. He got a lot of fighting what's types. The Greninja Dash Star. What? Uh, it always shows that because Ash Greninja is a possibility. Any Pokemon that have, can have different forms. Oh, so it's like Greninja and then like Asterisk, as in like yeah. it could be Ash Greninja. It could not be. Yeah. Okay. I think Arceus will do that too. Okay. okay, so we're going to go That's ahead and... That's why you run Male Greninja. We're going to go ahead and start this battle and see. Ooh. Lead Ursaluna versus Lead I Greninja. I don't remember this battle, so I don't remember if this is a Lead, like, Spikes Greninja, or if this is, like, a just a Scarf variant or something. This could be the Zoroark, too. Oh, this... Yeah, the Ursaluna could be a Zoroark. You're right. Yeah. We see Brick Break. It is not. Thank goodness it wasn't. 
And we see Thank close goodness combat. I am no longer a dark type. Yeah, that would have oh, obliterated your... Now the next Brick Break kills. Yeah, yep. the next Brick Break does kill because of close combat's effect. And, and burn. Well, not burn yet, but yep. There he goes. Let's yeah. go, Axel. Now this is, I think, this is, I think, is probably the Volbeat. first of the, the, the Zora work. Yeah, the way you see Volbeat's, uh, it was a shiny Volbeat. Who the hell did it mean? Yep. Psychic critical hit and special defense drop. <laughs> we love to see it. Can you pause for a second? Yeah. After this turn? Goodbye, Volbeat. <laughs> yeah. So if he didn't get a critical hit or if he didn't get a special defense drop, I think this, I think I killed it and it was living. Either one. Shadow Ball? Yeah. Living without both. either of those ones. But he needed both. I think it, I think it needed Zora. both. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I was about to give the point to Sinchino. That was like, wait a second. <laughs> think about it. Yeah, we gotta think about it. Psychic Shadow Ball. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I swapped in the, the Volbeat in case he went for Tidy Up, thinking I was gonna do Spikes. Yeah. So I wanted to Encore him into that. That was smart, though. But it got the Paralyze, and Volbeat is now out for the season. Volbeat? What is with I'm all kidding. your Pokemon getting paralyzed? I see him back. No, you didn't get paralyzed, but getting, like, hacked and then just dying the next turn. I know. Okay. Okay, we see Night Slash here, because obviously you know that's uh, Zoroark. Sash, focus as sash. we see. And oh my he god. puts a Focus Blast through Paralysis. Lance, oh my god, the, the percentage on that. 25% chance to... Ben... You are getting so lucky. It's a 75% chance to move, right? Yeah, 75% chance to move. It's more to hit than not to hit. I know. It's crazy. But he's still lucky yeah. with everything that's happened so far. Get and psychic. Think of Isor. We see here. <laughs> now this is the real one. I like how it says no item. Focus Sash consumed. <laughs> yeah. Yawn. Yawn was a really and good... Um, tidy up. Yeah, this one was a really good play. Um, yeah, now he can't stay I, I knew that you could that he could tidy up, and I wasn't wasn't bringing red card mimic you this time. Mm -hmm. So I really had no great way to stop it. Yeah, well, that was I mean, really smart. I have Archaladon. Yeah. When you know, you know how strong that is. is how Not even stab. Also, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, you know. I think that that is just skill link. Mm-hmm. Not even loaded dice. Imagine technician. he was running tech imagine technician. I think I calc <laughs> it, and I think technician loaded dice is like not as consistent because skill link always just does five. And yeah. so just getting like the plus one in skill link is better in terms of damage. But ready for this move? Fling big Fling nugget! Big nugget! Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the swords dance and get greedy, but if he woke up and killed me. Yeah. If he got the one turn sleep, I was kind of screwed. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would have probably gone... No, you know what? I yeah, Sneasler is fine. already just wins the yeah. game. Yeah. Archaladon just wins from here. Poison type was Dark really smart. Claw, in case he did flying. And he red cards me! That's that is sick. insane. Speed boost. Gets also, the speed boost. no Dire Claw proc again. Yeah. 50%. 50%. Could have been Poison, play. too. Oh, we see Terra Blast and I swap. Hyper Beam. Beam. Why? Okay. Why would he do that? <laughs> he was trolling here. Agility, Terra Blast, Hyper Beam. Maybe he didn't have anything else good? He could have had, like, Low Kick or something. Rapid Spin maybe could have been his last move. Or, like, Draco, maybe. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you, Draco? It's neutral. He's probably Sons a special. Bus. I don't know. Agility again. Better Focus Blast. Better Focus Blast with the Aura Sphere. I, I like how they didn't make it 100. Oh, no. They made it oh. cannot miss. Yeah, I was going to say, since you are faster... You're faster? No, wait. No, never mind. I'm, I'm reading it no, in the wrong order. I didn't get flinched, which is nice. No flinch. Thanks for the more defense. Yep, more defense. Just keep doing it. Agility again. If only I had Body Press. Yeah. Yeah, because you really needed it. Yeah, you really need that. <laughs> ben said he had focus sash acrobatics. Oh my god. <laughs> it didn't go through. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so sad. So it's a good thing you didn't. Yeah, have true. Why didn't he just take an unnecessary crap. damage? Why didn't he fake out normal gem? <laughs> true. He could have done that, and then it would have been more consistent. 
Oh, well. I wonder if, since the last three Pokemon were agility, if they were all, like, some sort of agility. All agility? He probably would have agilityed Ursaluna first turn, then. Oops, True. It's all agility. <laughs> I don't and, even know if it can get agility. And with probably that... Not. Hold on, let me play the rest. The game is done. Unfortunately, Ben That's could right. not... Take that, Ben. Could not yells, been avenged. defend himself, and we just saw, on stream... A child destroyed by a grown man. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, now that we're done with that. Okay. Would you look at the two teams, though? Yeah, I oh, hold on. Just... We'll, we'll go back, hold on. Valiant, Sneasler, Archaladon, then, you know, Greninja, Espeon, still pretty good. Volbeat's existing. Versus... And then look at... <laughs> His ragtag <laughs> team of... I don't Ursula even know. Luna. No, just regular Ursaluna. Regular Ursaluna. No, no trick room, but you know, Ursaluna's still there. That's cool. Zarek's pretty good. Yeah. Cyclozar, <laughs> Ambipom. Like the the bottom part of this just looks like are you? <laughs> <laughs> looks like someone's playthrough. It's like are yeah. <laughs> it's are you and you, right here. I found this saws busk and it was in the middle of a lot of other deer. It must <laughs> be strong. Oh, bless me. Okay, let me switch over to the um, spreadsheet. I if you guys notice the um, yeah, cool. The, the 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 background colors. I just did that so that I can center the um, pretty much everything here when I zoom it into one fifty um, percent, and then that way I can show it nice and better on the stream. So we will go ahead and look at the standings here. Give me a second. There we go. You should see it on stream. It's a little small, but you should be able to see it. Each week we get more and more of an empty column. Actually, hold on. Last one. I can zoom it in. <laughs> That's right. And there. Okay. So we have three battles yet to happen. <laughs> William Augustus has to happen. Jake versus... Because uh, William had his last second trip. Yep. And uh, me and Eric. Yeah, so and... that's three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, because we didn't put in Alex Ben or Alex Josh. That's oh yeah, what it is. Alex Josh as well. We can we can put that in. So so far I'm leading, yay! But I still only have the same differential as William. So if William wins his battle, then, then he's guaranteed to get first. He's unless guaranteed it's to get a zero first. zero finish. True. That's what it was last week too. <clears throat> How do you get a zero zero finish? Uh, if, like, on the last turn you die through life orb damage or recoil damage. Oh, gotcha. Like, if you're the one landing the finishing move, you'll still get the victory, even if your Pokemon dies. Mm-hmm. I've got on a few random battles. Let's see. Anybody else that we can see? We can see Connor, um, still with the highest differential, but having a 6-3 record. Still not bad. Yeah. I so think... if we both win our next match, Connor and myself, mm -hmm. then we play each other in the final week. So that would determine the fifth seed if Jake and Eric. Uh huh. Well, they Jake plays Eric or no? Yes. Yes. This yes. Week. So one of them will also be six three. And if it's Eric, then he'll drop to six because the differential. Oh, true. true. Yeah. Jake could drop and to fifth if he loses. I would drop to fifth if I yeah. lose. Mm -hmm. Just because of differential. Yeah. Uh, so, Alex is in a bit of a tough spot here, but if he wins both of his next two games, he could win through differential as long as one of us four loses every game still, which with two weeks left. Yeah. Jake can't Very lose every game because Josh happen. is one of his matchups. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I cannot. Alex plays me him. next week, too, I'm so that would help him out. in the finals. Let's hey, go. Hey, playoff berth. Let's go. I'm pretty sure Michael and William are as well. Shout out to Connor for having a three losses, but still the highest differential. That's crazy. Bro, he's got the most sweeps. <laughs> okay. if, if I win my game with... At least three wins, I'll be, or at least three points, I'll be. Ooh. 
top the differential. And also still not in first. Yeah. So if Con- if if Alex wins his next games, right? If he if he wins if he goes ne- wins his next two games in a row, he'll be six five. And at and if he six O's, then he'll be at plus thirteen. If Kyle loses his next two I'm guaranteed to go down. Yeah, because yeah, you're zero, one zero of his opponents too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he has to go for a sweep, I think. Which is he has to get my impossible. differential down and my, his differential up. Just like bring all all red card users <laughs> <laughs> and do a red card. Is the uh, is the stats page uh, updated? Yes. Okay. I believe so. So you check MVP race. We will check Although that. It will be slightly skewed because there have been some matches not done this week so far. But okay, so we can see. If, can I fit the? Top, <laughs> I I can't fit the top sixteen. So I'll Geronos go. Geronos is catching up. Jeez, yeah. Gyarados, we got Cornerstone and Gyarados. Almost. Okay, if the Gyarados I'm, I'm against Eric this week, mm. he's the one that has. Two intimidate Pokemon. How am I supposed to cornerstone sweet? It's <laughs> not happening. Just bring clear amulet on your Ogapon. Oh, oh wait. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's so many things are like, oh, I have such a good like it would be so great if I could run like a scarf Ogrepon. Oh wait. Oh if you, oh. oh don't worry, Ogrepon has a uh, define its ability. Oh, not this one. <laughs> oh, if I could just use uh, the Chopalberry with my Ogre Pound. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't worry, you have Darkrai. Yeah! <laughs> does that get Thunderbolt? It, it does get Thunderbolt. It gets Bolt Beam coverage. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I remember when Sneasler was number one for a little while. Woo! That was a good day. Metagross! Woo! An Amorous! Woo! Flygon! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine having your highest MVP candidate in double digits in their rank. Wouldn't it be me? Nope. <laughs> Shoutouts to Metagross at 10th place. Oh, oh. The, you mean this one. Okay. Yeah. I, at least I'm in the top 10. <laughs> based on... Okay, I, ha- I only have one Pokemon in the blue ranks. <laughs> so I want to really something talk. out. Uh, when you said that Darkrai gets Bolt Beam coverage, I was just thinking, wait, it does? What? I looked. It gets Thunder. Oh! Not thunder <laughs> it gets Thunder, so, so it gets... I'm not completely stupid for not realizing. It technically does get Bolt Beam coverage, but it's not great because you either do Thunder or you do Charge Beam. It's got Ooh, Beam... Charge Beam? It's got Beam charge Beam coverage. Not bad, but like, it's pretty... Not strong. Yeah, Pincurchin trying his best. Sunbeam. Uh, Certainly did. Not actually. <laughs> Are you guys still watching my stream? Down Am there, I still streaming actually? Discord? Hmm? Oh yeah. Oh I'm yeah. Still was watching the battle, I guess. I'll get out of there. I could uh I could change I could change that. If you guys want to watch me stream my did I, I just look on my did own. I kick out Isaiah on accident? Yeah, I think he left. Oh, okay. I thought I accidentally kicked him. I, yeah, I think is that is that it for everything to go over pretty um, much. Oh, we can go over the schedule for next week as well. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just want to make sure it looks nice. Okay. So, so first off, got... just gonna be replaying the uh games for me versus eric and uh william versus augustus yep will be on the schedule and then week 10 we have me versus jake i'm excited for that augustus versus yeah, ben should be a good one that should be close i think william versus raz i think william's gonna lose there honestly i don't see him winning josh versus connor bro connor's gonna get swept I don't know what to say. Should be close. It's gonna get swept <laughs> by unknown A. Unknown. <laughs> uh, Alex versus Kyle. Ooh, I'm excited Big to see how this playoffs. goes. This could make this could make or break Alex's uh, playoffs. Alex needs to win this in order to have a chance at playoffs. 
And then mm-hmm. Eric versus Isaiah. As I said, the the student versus the student versus the master here. He's uh Isaiah is Eric's disciple. Not really, but <laughs> I'm sure Eric is going to build just whatever wonky funny sets he can come up with in like 5 minutes because <laughs> he is so busy with the yeah. semester. He he showed me his uh his schedule and I was like, "Man, that is rough. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. And then, I don't know, let's just go to week to 11. That's that's the, technically the last one. We got uh, Jake versus wait. Josh. Should be Show close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alex versus Augustus. I think Alex can win this one. But uh, Augustus does have a lot of ground types, so we'll see. Um, Raz versus Eric. I'm excited to see that one. Uh, me versus Isaiah. I'm excited to play Isaiah. I've been wanting to play him all season. And then Kyle versus Connor. I think this one should be probably the game of the week. And then Ben versus William. Yeah, I remember it at the beginning of the season where we were both like 3-0 and or something. We're like, hey, we don't play each other to the end. Might have both undefeated people at the very end. <laughs> yeah, I remember and that. Now, I do remember that. Yeah, now we're, didn't really turn out we're in 5th well, huh? and 6th. You both <laughs> lost week 4 and week 5. Bro, y'all <laughs> fell off. <laughs> But it's all right. That's that's crazy that three losses is fifth and sixth place. It's just, you know? I don't know. Yeah, yeah that you're right. I guess two. just looking at it, it, just the top people are just so stacked. Eight and Fourth, one. Fifth, Only and one loss from me and William. Six, three. Yeah, and then six, three is this, like the cutoff. Mm-hmm. So it's over 500 and under 500, basically. Yeah. And MVP race. Yeah, we already went through this. So I think that's it then. I guess we'll end the stream off here. I don't know if anybody else has anything to add. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. This is my first stream. Yay! All right. Good night, everybody.